your retired and get benefits information in the mail. It looks like it came from your old company, but WAND IT reporter Doug Wolf warns us that is not always the case. Doug? Dawn, it's a simple common sense warning. Read what you get in the mail carefully and make sure you know who you are corresponding with before go giving out any information. Retired 68-year-old Richard thought he was getting information from his old employer. Well, I thought it was uh, information coming from Caterpillar to change some of our benefits that uh, we have. With Caterpillar printed across the front, Richard showed it to one of his children. But I even had a younger daughter of mine look at it and ask her what she thought, and she thought it was coming from Caterpillar. The sales material is actually from a company in Iowa selling supplemental insurance for auto and home, group accident insurance, even insurance on your pets. Caterpillar bold on the front, a disclaimer in tiny print on the back. It's not even dark, it's real light, but it's hard to see, and it says it is not associated with Caterpillar or any of their benefits plans. For Richard, the most disturbing part was a second batch of sales material from the same company, saying he was required to return an insurance enrollment form. But then when I got the second one, and it said that you have to either accept or decline, then it started concerning me. Richard says he is worried other cat retirees may think they have to sign up for these insurance policies, when in reality, they don't. Richard also says people should be careful providing their personal information. If they want social security numbers, they want your spouse's name, they want your children's names and all that information. Yeah, they want a lot of information on there. The Iowa company selling the sales material declined to comment, referring to Caterpillar as a customer. I contacted Caterpillar. They tell me the Iowa company does provide voluntary benefits to Caterpillar retirees. Caterpillar says retirees are not required to take any action unless they are interested in the program. For the I-Team, I'm Doug Wolf, WAND News.